God uses the suffering, or at least can use the suffering uh, that evil causes in our lives, in your life, and in my life uh, to produce something good. The Apostle Paul, he demonstrated this with his entire life. He, he knew what suffering was. You know, 2 Corinthians 11, you know, we read that he was he was beaten. He was in danger all the time of, of um, you know, of death, whether he was in the city or out in the wilderness or whether starving or, or uh, you know, facing 39 lashes five times, all of that. Uh, we read what Paul went through as he gives us his testimony. And in all of that, in the midst of all of that, in Romans, he says, For I consider the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that's to be revealed to us. You see, Paul, as he looks forward to, to heaven and to future glory, he understands that, that these sufferings pale in comparison to, to what awaits. You know, and, and I think that there's good reason.